Mexico's president has blamed U.S. sanctions on countries like Cuba and Venezuela for the 10,000 migrants arriving at U.S. border with Mexico each day. At a press conference on Monday, October 2, Andres Manuel López Obrador drew a direct parallel to U.S. immigration policy in Latin America and the influx of migrants currently being reported, News.com has confirmed. López Obrador said about 6,000 migrants per day had crossed into Mexico from Guatemala over the past week, the Associated Press reports. That's why we're going to keep insisting on addressing the root causes of migration, the origins, go deep, stop politicking, thinking rights are above ideology, that sanctions cannot be maintained, blockades and that the poorest countries have to be helped, Lopez Obrador said, according to The Hill. Colombian President Gustavo Petro has also blamed immigration problem situation on U.S. sanctions on Venezuela and Cuba. The U.S. has sanctioned both countries in response to what it believes to be suppression of democracy, which Lopez Obrador has asserted has more to do with ideological differences, rather than to uphold human rights. He stated that, sanctions and blockades cannot be maintained. Venezuelan migrants claim that the difficult political and economic situation of their country has forced them to leave their home and travel through Mexico on the way to the U.S. border. Lopez Obrador called for an integrated plan for cooperation so the Venezuelans, Cubans, Nicaraguans and Ecuadorans, Guatemalans and Hondurans so they wouldn't be forced to emigrate and that the U.S. must remove blockades and stop harassing independent and free countries. Lopez Obrador further criticized the U.S. for aid going to Ukraine that he claims should be spent on economic development in Latin America. It's more, a lot more, what they authorize for the war in Ukraine than what they give to help with poverty in Latin America and the Caribbean, he said. While Mexico has previously condemned the Russian invasion of Ukraine, they have adopted a policy of neutrality when it comes to the conflict and continue to source COVID-19 vaccines from both Russia and Cuba, according to the Associated Press.